Okay, Assalamualaikum. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to solve the same example which I solved using Excel. So this is the same example I will solve using MATLAB. Okay. So if you look at the model, it's the same model. And this model is like this. So as I explained to you, we have some non-linear model which can be linearized. Okay, those are exponential power model. This is type of saturation growth model where where you reverse the y and try to see what will be the slope and intercept. So if you see here, this I if I reverse it, one over q becomes 1 over b okay and then a over b yeah and t will come here okay in in typical saturation growth model this is 1 over t but in this case it's t only so if you see this is your new y and t is the same okay so this is y and this is x so if we fit this versus this uh, it should give you the straight line right so if we apply in matlab the easiest way is to do is by polyfit so you have the data here T and Q as given here this data I have entered in MATLAB and now uh, we can say capital Q is 1 over Q small Q right because our model is 1 over Q anything I, I am missing Yes, because Q is a vector, okay, we have discussed it many times, for any vector element to element operation, you must use dot before the mathem uh, mathematical operator, so this division is there, so before division you put dot, okay, so Q is calculated, we have T only, now we have to regress Q versus T, right, this is Q, capital Q for us. Okay, we are making it Q and this is T. So, like x, comma y polyfit, uh, suppose A is the coefficient, okay, and then we have polyfit command yeah, as you know, x, comma y. Sorry, not x comma y by default. So this is T. In place of X we have T. And in place of Y we have capital T. Okay. And degree of polynomial linear. So it is one first order polynomial. Okay. So this will give me the coefficient and intercept. Okay. A as output. Okay. I will I can leave it as it is. So now the first one, what is your model here? Uh, if we apply the A1, you know, A, A1 will be We will get uh, A1 as a slope in MATLAB. Okay, let us run this code first. Okay, I have, you can see, I have the slope and I have the intercept. As I explained to you earlier that mat, uh, polyfit always give the coefficient of highest order. So this is the slope. Okay, and this is the intercept. 
so a over b is this and 1 over b is this so i if i use just the okay again let me run this and then as i told you this is the intercept right so b intercept is 1 over b this is intercept so i uh, b will be 1 over i can use like this 0 0.00 8 so this is the intercept so intercept is 1 over b equals to this so b will be 1 over this this is the answer what happened b equals 1 divided by 0 0.0028 yes and then what else we have uh, the a a of uh, a by b is this the coefficient uh, i mean the slope okay the slope Okay, uh, what we can do, uh, we can write in the code itself, uh, a, okay, sorry, so this a should be a1, because we, in the model, we have already a, right, uh, a is there, so our purpose is to find b and a, so when we fit this polynomial, okay, I am going just a little bit back, just to make it more clear so a1 gives me the coefficients as i told you polyfit gives you the coefficient of highest order so a 0 x plus a1 like this so this data is the slope is the coefficient of x and this is the constant so this is a1 in matlab this is a1 a1 like this a1 is the slope and A2 is the intercept. Okay. Now, how I can calculate? The intercept is 1 over B. So, 1 over B is intercept which is equal to A2. You can see here. So, B, uh, B become basically 1 over A2. So, in MATLAB, just we can write, we need B as output. So, B is... 1 over a uh, okay okay i have a1 not a a1 coefficient 2 okay and then we have a the coefficient model coefficient a which is okay here we have to make sure this is a1 this is a1 this is a1 this is a1 so now a over b is the slope okay so a will be b times a over b a a1 1 is a over b so b will be a, a will be b times a1 so a uh, moral coefficient a will be a1 1 the first coefficient of polyfit times b okay so now i will get a and b you can see this is the model coefficient b and this is a so our job was to find basically a and b which is here Okay.
you can do calculation here also.